hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to speak about uh renewing your mind uh, we all know that the bible says we should continuously renew our minds it says renew your mind um so someone is gonna ask why do i have to renew my mind i'll give you uh, a few pointers a few examples a few whatever you call them so the bible says you are king and you look at yourself you're like i was born in a one bedroom and you look at your life you don't see any kingship in you that's why the bible says renew your mind so how are you going to see yourself as king if you don't study scripture and you don't meditate on what the bible says and try and find out why does the bible call me a king why does the bible says that i'm a new creature how am I a new creature? Why does it say I'm a head and not the tail when I don't see things moving in my life, when I don't see anything? Um, I've been working so hard and things are not happening for me. And you just take, you just see things at a uh, surface level and you take things from there and you're thinking that it's impossible for me to be a king when I was born in a one bedroom house. It is impossible for me to be a king when I was born into a family that is struggling to make ends meet. Uh, but the Bible says you are kings and priests. Praise God. The reason why the Bible says you should renew your mind is because you have the old mindsets. We all have the old mindsets. We were not born. We are not born and immediately born again. And we knew what Jesus wanted for us. Some of us came from families that were going to church, but they were not born again. And we got salvation on the way. So for me to be able to comprehend what the Bible says about me, it means I need to be cont to continuously spend time with God. It means I need to continuously study Scripture. So me, for me to find myself approved, Paul says that i think it's paul is it paul or timothy that says one of the two so you need to soak yourself in the word of god you need to immerse yourself in the things of god when you study the bible you really look at life life is really spiritual i don't care what who says what who says what life is really spiritual so everything that you see on earth it started in the spiritual realm so if you are not equipped and you do not know what's happening in the spiritual realm and you do not know how the spiritual realm operates, you will think that all you see is all there is, whereas it's not like that. Life is spiritual. Life, everything that happens, it starts in the spirit. Jesus says, the words that I speak to you, they are life and they are spirit. The Bible also says that the power of life and death is in your tongue. So the words that you speak, they are spirit. So if you open up yourself to the word of God and you study the word of God and you, 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 you equip yourself with the word of God, you will be able to see that everything that happens around you, it really started in the spiritual. So how do I, I manifest the things that are in the spirit? How do I make my spiritual, whatever that is in the spirit, for me to, to appear in, this, in the physical realm? By studying the Bible, you fast, you pray, you do all these things. You do all the spiritual activities. We are spirit beings living in this body. The real you is the spirit. God is spirit. He said, let us make men in our image. So this is not God's image. The image of God is the spirit which he, he, he made you in. Do you get what I'm saying? So when you understand these kind of things, you will be able to grasp these concepts and like, okay, this is my reality. And if I am a, really a king, the Bible says you are joined heir with Christ. And it's not easy for you to comprehend that with your mind. So whatever that belongs to him, it belongs to me.
<gasps> your mind cannot comprehend that. You're thinking that you are blaspheming. But the Bible tells you that you are a joint heir with Christ. So whatever that belongs to Christ, it belongs to you. So I was struggling. Why are we, are we, are we, are we going in circles? Why are we unable to, 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 to speak things and they happen? It's because we are unable to comprehend the things of the spirit. And we are not renewing our minds by feeding our spirit, body, and soul with the word of God. The more you put, I think they only see garbage in, garbage out. If you feed yourself with Netflix and chill, Netflix and chill will come out of you. If you feed yourself with the life of God, with the word, the word of God will come out of you. You will be able to comprehend the spiritual realities because now you know. You know and you know and nobody can come to you and say whatever that you have believed is not true. Right now, let me just tell you something that you know. If you think that the Antichrist is still coming, go, you are behind. The Antichrist is here. The Antichrist is the people that are Antichrist. They are they. They are on your TikTok. They are on your Instagram. They are on your WhatsApp. They are they. They are, they are not hiding anymore. If you're still thinking that the Antichrist is something that will come and then you will see it will fly and it will come, then you are late. You are late. So there's people that have taken it upon themselves. They are sharing their videos on YouTube. They are sharing their videos on TikTok. They are sharing their videos all over. They have taken it upon themselves to prove and show you loopholes in the Bible that if this is that, if this is that, why this is not that. And if you are not knowledgeable in your Bible, if you do not study your Bible, you will fall for these people's tricks. The other day, I saw this other one saying something like, what did she say? I was like, mm, girl, you did not study the Bible. You were just reading and you cramped and you grew up. She grew up a Christian and she just was cramming and she did not understand the scripture. And was, she was just quoting scripture uh, out of context. And that's what the, not the scripture says. And But I didn't write that on her page. But I was just like, mm, if there are people like this. And we've got baby Christians that want to grow. They want to be spoon fed. They want to be fed milk. Let me tell you something. You are six months in this walk with faith of faith. Good shot. We'll feed you the milk. We will feed you the milk. But you've been born again for 11 years, 10 years, 6 years, 5 years, 3 years. And you still want somebody to spoon feed you. The people that are trying to prove that the Bible is not true. That the people that are trying to, this this lady was speaking about uh, proving a point, uh, wanting to hear uh, the devil's side of the story whatsoever, something like that. And you will listen to those things and be like, yo, this makes sense. This makes sense because you don't know your word. I scrolled and I look at the comments. So many people were saying that this makes sense. This makes sense. And it's, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? So I want you to be able to, this year, you listen to whoever that you listen to. I'm not going to tell you that listen to this pastor, listen to this one, listen to that. It's not my job. But you listen to the people that are teaching you the word of God. You listen and you listen and you take your Bible. You said, God, it is me and you. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. Give me knowledge. Give me understanding. Because he says, if you lack knowledge, ask for knowledge. That's the Bible. It tells you that if you only lack knowledge, ask for knowledge. He says, anything that you ask in my name, it shall be done by my father in heaven. So God, I am not able to understand, to comprehend the things that I'm studying in the Bible. Open my spiritual eyes, open my spiritual ears that I may be able to hear you. Because there are people that are deaf spiritually. Guys, the Bible tells you clearly that the devil is... The devil has no power over your life. He has no hold over your life unless and, and until you give room for him, you open doors for him to come and work in your life. He has no power over you. D Jesus, 
he died and rose again. When he rose, he descended to hell and he made a spectacle out of the devil and his demons and he took the keys of hate and death. He made a public spectacle of the demons and the devil. He overcame death and sin. So for you to be struggling with sin in this day and age and be saying, yo, but I still struggle with this, it's because you are not transparent. You are not going to God and be sincere and like, God, this is happening in my life. This is happening. There are things that you're going to struggle with. Yes, but be able to go to God and open up yourself and be like, God, I'm struggling with pornography. I'm struggling with gossiping. I'm struggling with um, all these things. I'm struggling with uh, um, sleeping around. I still want to sleep with people. I'm telling you, the more you tame your flesh, Guys, there's nothing there, that thing that they say, ladies, when you are about when you're ovulating or after you have been in your periods, you just want to sleep with someone. That thing it stops. I am telling you, I am telling you from a person that was married, I was sleeping next to a man for three years. I was sleeping with a man for three years. He was in my house. He was not working in another town. We were in the same house for three years full years and when he left i said god i do not have a husband i am used to sleeping with a husband so right now i need you to intervene i need you to help me my flesh is used to doing this thing i don't want to do that i don't want to compromise the gospel i don't want to compromise myself i don't want to give room to the enemy to be able to accuse me of, of these things i don't want to do that I don't want to stay in myself. So it's not going to be easy for me to switch. Do you think you're going to switch like that? You were sleeping next to a man for a certain number of years. And you think you're going to switch like that. And everything is going to be like, oh, I'm back to being single. Now I am not going to sleep around. It's not going to be like that. But you need to be very transparent and honest and speak to God like your father. If you say he is your father, you need to be able to lay down the things that you're struggling with to him. He is a good, good father. I am telling you from me to you, he is a good, good father who is always willing to help you. So I need you to be conscious of the fact that God is a good father and he wants what's best for me. And for me to be able to constantly renew my mind, I need to dig deep into scripture. I need to go deeper in my prayer. We are not babies. We are not babes. If you remain a babe in this work of faith, the demon will play in your head and you will play in your territory that you will be cursing demons out every day. You will be cursing demons, cursing demons. Fill yourself with so much light that the devil, when he sees you, because the Bible says you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. If you are the light of the world, when you show up, darkness flees. Praise God. When you show up, darkness flees because you are full of light. You have immersed yourself in the things of God. You have immersed yourself in light so much so that the devil, when he comes and he sees you, he flees. I have made up my mind that I will not open up doors to the devil. When I show up, darkness flees. There will be no darkness. You know... I pray crazy prayers. I pray crazy prayers and I pray crazy prayers even for the complex that I live in. I'm like, as long as I am here, the devil will not play here. The spirit of suicide roaming around, the spirit of suicide, it will not play in this complex while I am here because I'm the light of the world. I light up the world. So when the devil shows up in this complex, he sees the light that I am because I'm the light of the world. I sh Darkness cannot comprehend light. That is Jesus Christ is real. Jesus is living and active. His word is living and active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. If you allow the Holy Spirit to work in you, you will see things that you have never seen in your life. You will see yourself as a new version of yourself that you have never. Guys, you will even lose people. 
that you thought there were people that were they were close to you. It's okay. You you thought that they loved you. They don't like the superior version of yourself. You're contending for transformation. You're contending for superior versions of yourself. You're going higher. You're going higher. You say, Jesus, it is you or nothing. If you don't do it for me, nobody else is going to do it. I'm not going to compromise the gospel. I want to know Jesus for myself and I will serve him all the days of my life. You are not going to go two, two years down the line like you, I backslided and then I need. No, you're like, God, I need you to help me. I need you to show me. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. I need you to order my steps. If you need to pray that prayer this year, you pray that prayer like, God, the Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Therefore, I, I, I allow you to order my steps, order my steps because the Holy Spirit is so gentle. He does not force himself. God is a gentleman. He does not force himself onto you. He does not make you do the things that you don't want to do. You don't want him to do. So you allow him like, God, I allow you. I allow you to lead me in paths of righteousness. I allow you to lead me where you want me to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. Um, kindly share, subscribe, comment down below. And uh, just let's engage and speak about the things that we're struggling with. The things that you would like me to pray about for you. I'm going to pray for you in my prayer closet and you just take anybody else's prayer point on the comment section and we pray for each other and we we strengthen each other because the body of christ is not going to be divided not while we still live the body right now is being divided because so many people are saying this and that and that and that and if the body is divided it's easy for the enemy to come in so we're not going to allow the body of Christ to be to be divided. We are going to be so united that the devil does not have does not does not have even a a, a space to come in. Praise God. So I want us to pray for each other. I want us to grow this channel. I want us to share this word with other people. Share the word with other people. Comment, like, subscribe to all the things that are supposed to be done. I hope the video was not too long. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Turn on your notification bell so that you can know every time I post something. Because this year, I think I'm going to be posting twice a week. But I'm not yet sure about the days. Just keep uh, your notifications on so that you know every time I post a video. I love you guys. God bless you.